every year, it's like new do, new you. But while it's fun to experiment with a fresh style, not all of them can stand the test of time. So what have been the most memorable trends over the years? From the man bun to Twiggy's pixie, fasten your banana clips, these are the best and worst hair trends in history. Yeah, here we go. Goldilocks would probably tell you that the long bob, aka lob, is a hair trend that's just right. A lob isn't too long, but it also isn't too short, which makes it pretty much the perfect length. Celeb stylist Bryce Scarlett told Cosmo, By getting a lob, you cut your hair at one of its fullest points, so your hair appears thicker from roots to ends. And stylist Frankie Foy agrees, saying that these styles are usually cut in a choppy, layered way, which will look good for the next three months as it grows out. The lob staying power further proves its greatness. Salon owner Carrie Leon Guerrero told Glamour in 2019, The lob is still going strong as one of our most requested haircuts because it's versatile and easy to maintain. It's my hair. It's my say. When it comes to the lob, what's not to like? According to a Great Clips salon survey, the perm is considered one of the worst hairstyles for women ever. And if you've dabbled in the perm trend in the past, you likely agree with those results. One reader told the Chattanooga Times Free Press, I had my hair permed and lightened, since color adds fullness. If you get an image of a blonde Roseanne Rosanna Dana from Saturday Night Live, you're dead on. What would you even call a shape like that? Oh, I... a circle? Although the perm rated poorly, it was likely the old-fashioned bubble perm that participants had in mind. While millennials have since begun to embrace the trend again, Great Clips franchisee Hunter Hughes confirmed, perms are currently thought of as older women's style. If there's a haircut that will be around forever, it's the pixie. Iconic model Twiggy debuted the super short style back in the 60s, and it's remained a staple ever since. Stylist Jordan Garrett told Birdie, Twiggy started it all off, and then Princess Diana and Demi Moore ruled this look in the 1990s. More recently, we've seen it come up with a few modern tweaks on celebrities such as Kristen Stewart and Katy Perry. It's a classic look and suits people with petite features. It's, it's just what I wanted. Decades after the trend hit the mainstream, the do is only becoming more popular. Cecilia Morales of Stylecraft US said that the classic hairstyle, which was hugely popular in 2019, is only just gaining steam in 2020. There are few styles that will send you into a full-body cringe like the mullet. In a survey by GrabItNow.com, participants voted the mullet hairstyle as the worst hair trend in history, and we're gonna have to agree. A spokesperson for the site told The Telegraph, The mullet became a massive craze in the 80s, but when you look at images of the style now, it does look ridiculous. The awkward do, which calls for a cropped cut at the top of the head and long hair along the sides and back, may have somehow managed to gain traction back then. But hairstylist Richard Ward told The Sun, It's the one look that will never come back into fashion. It will go down in history as the world's worst cut. Thank God it has gone for good. Bangs may be a pain to grow out, but they're still considered one of the best hair trends in history. Celebrity hairstylist Oscar Blondie told Harper's Bazaar, Bangs are such a classic. There's so many ways that you can wear them and change your look entirely with one tiny tweak. Blondie explained how bangs have the power to change your look, for better or worse, and it all might come down to a little snip. He added, When bangs aren't precisely the right shape, it can alter the proportions of your face as well as be extremely difficult to style. Keep track of how long after you got them cut that you truly loved the length so that you can time a trim just right. It definitely is a lot more work. Feel free to freshen up your look with a little fringe, but just be sure you're ready for the commitment. The man bun definitely had its moment, but guys, that moment has long passed. According to a 2016 study of women's preferences on Tinder, Bumble, and Happen, man buns were found to be the least attractive hairstyle. Are you hearing us, long-tressed dudes? And as it turns out, man buns are the worst for another reason. They were found to be responsible for traction alopecia, which causes baldness. At the height of the man bun trend, dermatologist Sabra Sullivan told Mike in 2015, It's really, really common. I see it probably once or twice a week. They're putting traction on the hair follicles that the hair is not really meant to take. But while the man bun may have been a short-lived trend, its side effects were not. Dr. Doris Day told ABC News,
Once the follicle is scarred, the hair is permanently lost and that means it won't grow back. Long straight hair is flattering on just about everyone, so it's no wonder men and women surveyed by Grey Clips consider it to be one of the best trends in history. As Kate Middleton has proved, there are nearly endless ways to wear long straight hair. But it's not too late to have your say. You may not be able to splurge on an appointment with Rosanna Ferretti, the Duchess of Cambridge's former hairstylist, but you should still seek out a talented professional and get a good cut. Ferretti told W Magazine, If a good hairdresser is a good hairdresser, your haircut should be super manageable and easy for you. Every morning, it should facilitate your life. If you're unable to find a top-notch stylist in your area, Ferretti said it's that much more important to have a good hair care routine, including shampoo, conditioner, hair masks, serums, and oils. Remember Rihanna's half-shaved do known as the Skrillex? The look was a play off DJ Skrillex's style, and at the time, it may have been edgy, but the trend would quickly lose its cool factor. Just a haircut, and like I decided to do it one day because I was bored, okay? In a survey conducted by hair care retailer Fabria in 2013, the majority of the 1,000 participants rated Rihanna's Skrillex do as the worst hair trend in the last 13 years. Yikes. The bold cut is also among one of the hardest to grow out. Senior stylist Judy McGinnis told Stylecaster, Typically, cuts that are made in the nape of your head are much easier to grow out than ones that are on either side of your head. It's much easier to hide than a big panel right next to your face. Instead of trying to grow out the short side to match the other side, experts advise cutting your hair into a pixie when you're ready to switch it up. Although the lob is one of the best hair trends in history, the traditional bob also ranks high on the list of styles with staying power. Oh, where did my hair go? <laughs> Stylist Sam Burnett explained to Birdie, This is arguably the most versatile cut of all time. Two people can have a bob exactly the same length, but if one has choppy layers and a fringe and the other has a blunt finish, they will look totally different. Not to mention, they'll both look totally flattering on the wearer. Burnett added, Any small changes to the shape can have a huge effect on the overall style, which means it's easy for it to be updated with seasonal trends to give it a fresh edge. It can also be styled to suit all face shapes, ages, hair types, and styles, which is why it will always be popular. For me, the ultimate accessory is your hair. The 80s were certainly an iconic time when it came to hair. Alongside the infamous mullet, the feathered look fluffed itself up as one of the worst hair trends in history. This hairstyle is especially bad because it adds years, arguably many years, to the wearer. Master stylist Shrita Taylor confirmed to Best Life, a dated hairstyle can age a woman, like feathered bangs from the 80s. Come, come, and woo! So, in lieu of full feathers, you might want to try a lightly feathered lob version of Farrah Fawcett's do. Or if you want to keep your hair a little bit longer, Marie Claire recommends a thinned-out style, like one of Gabrielle Union's signature looks. Unlike its retro-feathered cousin, the shag has managed to keep its universal appeal through the decades. Stylist Andy Judd told Allure, As a whole, a shag is cut by pulling everything forward, with more dramatic contrast of layering, rather than the average long layers. And stylist Holly Seidel told the outlet that the shag gives women the, quote, freedom to wear their natural texture. The shag has certainly been around for a long time, but it has recently attracted a new audience. Stylist Neil Smith revealed to Birdie, This cut is a classic for millennials due to the fact that it's so low maintenance. It looks great straight, curly, in braids, and in a tight or loose updo. It's got incredible versatility, which always helps make a style timeless. If the hair doesn't recover and it's not looking good, then I guess you just have to wow people with your sparkling personality. Sure, Victoria Beckham was able to pull off this statement do, but that wasn't the case for almost everyone else. Spice up your life. It's not the first time I've said that. Stylist Edward Tricomi told Stylecaster, In order to be able to pull off an asymmetrical hairstyle, you need to have the hipness factor. It's about how you put together clothes, makeup, and hair. It's about the attitude and personality. Although this style of cut can work with a variety of textures, asymmetrical cuts are better suited for, quote, smooth straight hair, according to stylist Sam Bricado. Asymmetrical cuts also require more frequent trims. All of these factors combined lead to a high-maintenance hair trend that doesn't really work for any of us.
The first thing people notice about me is my hair. Natural curls are both beautiful and timeless. And despite not being a new trend, naturally curly styles are expected to become even more prevalent in the future. It takes a while to get the poof. I like it big. So how should you rock your spirals? Stylist Mark Trinder told Birdie, I think the most effortless and always on-trend look for curls is seeing them in their natural shape and state. To do this, the hair cannot be cut in a methodically layered way. It prevents curls from sitting in their natural shape. Instead, your stylist needs to slice out lengths to make them soft on the edges. This will allow the curls to retain their definition and enhance the natural shape. Back in the 70s, Olympic figure skater Dorothy Hamill introduced the world to a hairstyle known as the Wedge. At the time, Hamill had no clue the style would catch on, as she admitted in her memoir, A Skating Life, My Story. But that's exactly what happened. Although this look was first known as the Wedge, it was essentially what we now know as the bowl cut. Oh. My. God. These days, it's widely recognized as solid evidence that your mom cut your hair at home. But it's still managed to find its way onto the heads of the style set. And while it's true that hair trends from the past can be recycled and reclaimed, it's hard to see the bowl cut going mainstream ever again. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.